Welcome to the Nightly Rant. I'm Mike. And I'm Toria. This is the show where we talk about the awful things that have happened in our day, the awesome things that have happened in our day, and all the things in between. Thanks for listening, and we truly hope you enjoy. Hey, well, tonight's kind of a weird night for this show because Toria is not feeling good. So she is currently in bed, occasionally coughing. But yes, she's got some kind of a a bug that's going around. And the rest of us are trying to avoid the bug. But I thought it was a good time. You know, instead of going on like a rant about something, I thought it was a good time to talk to you about um, our healthcare system, but more specifically, our, her and mine, healthcare plan that we utilize. Um, because, especially those of you local to us here in Orange County, um, you definitely are going to want to consider what I tell you. Uh, those of you further away, can look up direct primary care physician on Google and you'll find some that are near you. It's a growing movement. So basically, um, Toria had been having a problem and wanted to find a doctor. And um, due to everything that had gone on in the past year, we didn't have um, health insurance by that point. Um, and she, she found this place in Huntington Beach and she kept saying to me, I don't know, it just sounds too good to be true. It sounds too good to be true. I want you to check it out. It sounds too good to be true. And I admit, you know, I read through their, through their, um, website, <laughs> basically their online brochure and it really did seem too good to be true. Like there were the things that they would offer and the prices they would charge. It was so much high quality um, services offered for such a low price. And a lot of it just included in your subscription price because that's how direct primary care physicians work. Instead of accepting an insurance payment and instead of having to charge you like a copay or something, and instead of, you know, you you pay that every time you come in, instead what he does is he charges you a subscription fee and that allows you to see the doctor anytime you need to see the doctor that month. Um, and it includes a few other, you know, freebies. But the main thing is you get everything else at a discount. So you get blood tests at a discount x-rays at a discount prescriptions at a discount and the discount is his cost so like for instance i take um take a pill every i take two different pills for blood pressure and each was costing me for like a six month supply 16 dollars. so i was paying about 32 dollars every six months for the medication now for the entire um six months for both pills combined, a dollar eighty. <laughs> so that's you know almost a hundred dollar, well, almost seventy dollar savings a year. It's pretty good. But the reason why I mention it is because, of course, I mentioned that Tori is sick, and so um, she told me today she'd been she's been fighting this for a couple of days. You guys remember in the last episode um, her talking about uh, her voice. And that she wasn't feeling good. Well, today she told me, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely running a fever now. And that's when I said, well, you better give Dr. Matt a call. And Dr. Matt, he's our, he's our doctor. He's over there in Huntington Beach. He runs a place called Elevated Health. And um, those guys, those guys are, they're amazing over there. Um, they... So the story kind of goes, like I said, that, you know, she found the place on the web. She told me, oh, it looks too great, good to be true. You better check it out. I was like, yeah, it does kind of look too good to be true. So then I called in and this dude named Daniel 
answers the phone and we start talking about it and I'm explaining to him how Victoria needs to be seen um any event um he says to me okay I'm going to set you up an appointment for this time and all you got to do is submit your payment and once you do that everything is confirmed I said awesome dude awesome so we did that and do you know that like I think I called him at like nine o'clock, nine thirty in the morning. Do you know that we were in there by eleven AM and she was being seen by the uh doctor by eleven AM. Um Hi Yogi. Yagog, what you doing? And that was just the first time. You know, we would never been a patient before and we didn't even wait when we got there. Like we pretty much just walked right in. Um that's unheard of with doctors. And then the next thing you notice is that he's not rushed with you. He takes his time. He asks questions. He tries to get to know what's going on with you. And he doesn't rush you out of there. It's really, really nice. Um, you, you find that your blood pressure doesn't go up from the stress of going to the doctor because there is no stress going to the doctor. And so like today... Victoria was able to call the doctor once she had that fever. And he called her back. They discussed what was wrong and he gave her instructions. Now, I can tell you, based on the interaction that I saw, that it would be no different than if you called your primary care physician through your insurance and said, hey, I need to see you right now. Then they got you a same day appointment. First of all, <laughs> what are the odds of that happening? But let's just play the fantasy game and say that they did. So they get you in the same day. And after they, uh, after they get you in, he basically tells you exactly what Dr. Matt told Toria. But you had to waste a copayment. And you had to pay for your insurance that month. And you had to take the time to go to the doctor's office. Just to be told the very same thing she was told over the phone. Now, let me extend this a little further. They kind of have this wonky, sorry guys, if you're listening, it is kind of wonky, wonky app that uh, goes on your phone, you know, your smartphone. And from that, <clears throat> you can see your bill for the month because, you know, there's things that, you know, like if you get prescriptions, it gets added to your bill and you pay it at the end of the month. Um, but there's that there's um <clears throat> a way to make an appointment in there um it's not super intuitive the appointment thing but hey it works and you can get an appointment you know whenever most times same day uh at the worst next day i mean that's incredible when you think about it because like i said earlier you know you try to get your regular physician a same day visit good luck same week sometimes is difficult it's a little easier with like pediatricians for kids, but adult doctors, you could be dying and they would they basically just tell you to go to urgent care or go to the emergency room. I mean, literally, that is what you would be told. And it's funny because, you know, what good is that? You're not seeing your doctor. So you're paying all this insurance money. You pick this special doctor. You tell him everything that's wrong with you. He runs every test under the sun. And then when you really need him in an emergency, he doesn't have time for you. You have to go to the emergency room or the urgent care where you're going to be dealt with by a stranger. What the heck is that about? It makes no sense at all. So that's why now that's where we go. You know, recently Mitch fractured his, his thumb and um, it was on my weekend with him. So I took him in to see Dr. Matt and um cost me 20 bucks, but it was good for all the visits. And then he... He got an x-ray done. That was like 50 bucks for the x-ray. Um, and $12 for a brace for his arm because he did have a fracture. So what is that? 70, 82, 
50 plus 20 is 70, plus 12 is 82, and that was it. There was no other cost, right? So it cost 82 bucks. Um, but that 82 bucks covered um, three visits that he did, took. So we didn't really pay anything extra. Um, we didn't have to pay the exorbitant price of insurance um so in the long run we saved a lot of money and like i said the quality of care is just amazing i mean like with that app that they have you can send the doctor a text message and the doctor will respond back to you by text message and what's cool about it is that i'm sure what it does is it just forwards it's a text number that forwards to another number but it's cool because the doctor can communicate with you via text, but you don't really know his cell phone number. So he's protected in that respect because, you know, no one likes giving out their phone number to anybody, um, especially a doctor to his patients. Be calling him at all hours of the night, you know, oh, I've got a headache, what do I do? Uh, you know people would do that. It's stupid. But anyway, I digress. The point here is that this direct primary care physician methodology is the way to go. So if you don't live like in, you know, Orange County from, say, Fountain Valley straight all the way through Cypress area, then, you know, if you don't live there, use Google and look up direct primary care physician. But if you do live in that area... Get up, get on Google and look up Elevated Health or look them up on, um, ouch, look them up on uh, Facebook because they've got a Facebook page and um, go in and see them. Tell them you heard about them on this podcast because, um, you know, the cost of health care is so outrageous. I was paying $650 a month. But then I had a thousand dollar deductible before I really had coverage. And then once I had coverage, it was eighty twenty. So a lot of out of pocket costs right there. Compared to, you know, the minimal little cost that I'm paying right now for the direct primary care physician. There's a black cat walking past me with orange speckles. Anyway, so I guess you're getting the point. <clears throat> you know, if you're if you're paying a lot of money, you probably you know you're probably on some kind of HMO, and you're probably not happy with your doctor. Most people are not. Um, <laughs> I used to call my last doctor Doctor Doolittle because he really didn't do much. Um, but anyway. It's another story for another day, and there will be a day when I, we will talk about that. So that's it for direct primary care physician. You know, then I just wanted to talk about um, cats and Christmas trees. So you know, me. It's been a long time since I've had a cat um, and a Christmas tree at the same time. I mean, yeah, technically last year we had a cat, but she was different than she is now. She wasn't as social. Um, So she kind of would hide all the time. So the Christmas tree didn't even matter to her. But Toria says, hey, you know, we better, before we decorate that tree with with, uh, balls and such that could break if they fall over, when the cat climbs the tree, let's just leave the naked tree out for a day and see how the cats handle it. Well, everyone's a, a scared that, you know, Olive is going to climb the tree or that Parker is going to climb the tree. But <laughs> what we should have been afraid of is them eating the tree. Yes, they wanted to eat the tree. And, of course, Parker, you know, that little jerk you know, love that guy, but sometimes he's a jerk. Likes to bite on wires. And so what's the first thing he goes after? It's a pre-lit tree. He goes after the wires. 
after the wires. So he had to bitter apple the darn tree because that's what stops him from chewing on things. And it seems to work. Um, Olive was thinking about eating the tree a second ago and then for some reason stopped. So that's all good. Um, But that's going to be interesting tomorrow after the tree's decorated to see if they try to bat at the balls that are hanging or anything like that because they do, they all three of them, well, not so much Parker, but the two girls, they like to uh, swat at things. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. But this year we don't have to worry about Yogi in the tree because the tree's up off the ground, so Yogi can't get at the tree any longer. Because he, last time year, kept going around behind the back side of the tree where he wasn't supposed to be. And you have to crawl under there to drag him out because he would do his typical, what does Yogi do when you call him? Rolls onto his back and acts all submissive. <laughs> it's the cutest darn thing, though. He's so cute sometimes, that dog. Can't stand it. It's just so cute. Just want to kiss him. But anyway, well, that's all for today. I'm sorry it's a little shorter, but, you know, there's half the number of people here talking at you. Um, hopefully she'll feel better and maybe um, maybe tomorrow night we'll, we'll record something. If not, we're going to do a uh, um, chatting with Mike and Toria podcast on Sunday. But that goes on the Patreon page, which you are welcome to subscribe to. It's um, Patreon. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Michael Mahoney. And that's M-A-H-O-N-Y. No E. Um, Go there and subscribe. There's multiple levels. Each level gives you a little bit more and a little bit more content. A little bit better content. A little more intense content. A little longer content. So go check it out. And um, if you're so moved, subscribe. Even, gosh, even a dollar a month would be appreciated. Um, All right, well, I might talk to you guys tomorrow night, or else we'll be on Patreon on Sunday night. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Hey, this is Mike, and I just wanted to tell you that if you enjoyed the show, and I truly hope you did, you can subscribe on iTunes or Google Play and not miss a single episode. But if you happened to miss an episode uh, and you didn't find it on Google Play or iTunes for some reason, you could go to our website, which is thenightlyrant.wordpress.com.